Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today is a Tara Christie show, and we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. Christie's got the COVID, the Rona. We're going to talk about what it's like in the U.S. having COVID at the moment in October 2021. So you're going to want to stay tuned, subscribe. Here we go. Girl, okay. you're Girl. looking pretty good. How many? Okay, so how many days have you had COVID? Do you want to count it? See, this is the fun part about the Rona. Nobody really knows when you should start counting how long you've right. had it. Fair do, so should we count when I started feeling like crap? Or do we count Probably. when I get a positive uh, COVID test? Probably when you feel bad. So that was last Monday, okay. but my positive COVID test was Thursday. Okay. So technically it's been around 11 days. If it's mm -hmm. from the time you've been feeling bad. Okay. So how are you feeling now? Like what has been your symptoms and like, Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, you saw though. I sent you Marco Polo's where I look like death. So basically, yeah, she was like, Oh, you don't look good. I was I like, mean, really like, look like, yeah, like your face. I don't know. Like look like death. Well, my like eyeballs good. were like swollen. They still don't look right, but whatever. So I had really? the dull headache the whole time. And I don't get headaches. Mm, okay. So I had headaches the whole time um, and nothing makes them go away. So like you take your little medicine, you still have the headache. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. So I lost my taste and smell Friday. Okay. Now that is freaking weird, you guys, because you can, you're not tasting texture, but you, you can feel texture and your brain oh, yeah. knows that it should taste like this. But there's no, boop, boop, no, it's not happening. I mean, so my pudding was like. So are you even eating anything? Are you just eating like uber healthy? Cause it doesn't matter. That would make sense. But I really want to enjoy my time off. So right, I you ate can't it. taste it. I know, but Losing something weight is enjoyable. <laughs> It is after it's done and right. I can fit in right. the clothes and right. then I feel really good about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I ate an entire bag of uh, animal crackers one day. Mm. I've animal been living crackers. on Do they have those here? I don't think so. What? They could be like sweet. They're like sweet crackers. Just describe it to yeah. the audience. They're yeah. just plain. They're kind of plain and they're shaped in little animal shapes and they are more of a cracker than a cookie. I don't know why I'm addicted to them, but I love them love them so here's how we do it here okay so everybody gets very concerned when you get the rona now don't get me wrong there are definitely cases that are very very scary it right. happens to people that you know i've known but generally speaking i thought this was interesting i want you to hear this so you know how we're getting all the hype of how bad it is and everybody's yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, gonna die. And if you don't get the vac and you don't do this, and this is gonna happen. And these. Okay, really so do you have the vaccine? Did you have the vaccine and you still got it, no. or you didn't have the vaccine? No, I no never vaccine. had. The vaccine. Okay, no got vaccine. For, no. So I'm like, okay, I guess the responsible thing to do is I call my doctor and let them know I have the COVID. Yeah, yeah. Because it's apparently, you know, terrible for you know, it's awful. Yeah. Okay, great. I call and this is their response. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just treat it like you have a cold. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So they said, just do what you would do. Um, if you, you know, just treat your symptoms. I'm like, then you people need to stop getting on my TV and all over the place acting like this is really bad. And you don't even care about the COVID. Hello? Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I we said, well, shut I down the whole country here because of a couple cases, right? So, right, I know. Yeah. So, this is what I'm saying. So, I'm like, I said, well, I just didn't want to show up on the news dead in my apartment from the Rona and nobody knew. <laughs> so, right, because you're alone in your apartment at the moment. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, my mom is all freaked out. Yeah. So, um, I was freaked out. You told me, I'm like, oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> I know everybody was so freaked out. And to be honest, I was so glad I got it. Well, for a couple of reasons. Yeah. One is now I have the antibodies and right. two, 
how in the heck was I ever going to get 10 days to sleep ever? Okay. So that's you know, a good, that's a good point. Why don't you talk a little bit about what, how it works with work when you have okay. the, the virus, like what do they make you do and stuff? And we had a case a couple weeks ago at my work. Mm. And so what they do is when you have a case or whatever, then everybody gets tested for the next couple weeks mm. just to make sure it is we've quarantined it. We're good. Nobody else is getting it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, it's two lines, just like pregnancy tests. So my big right. thing is, am I pregnant? Mm. Am I pregnant? And she came flying out and she's like, stop breathing. Go home. You're still breathing. <laughs> cause, cause I was in my, in our, in our business area. And I'm like, Oh, so out I went and I went, like, bye. Right, bye. <laughs> bye. I went right to Walmart. I put a mask on because at Walmart, it doesn't matter. There's so many diseases there. Who cares? <laughs> so I just went, I just went people. Let's just call it like it is. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny, sir. <laughs> so I was like, who knows what else I'll catch while I'm at Walmart, but I got all my little stuff. And the first day I just didn't feel good. Like I just was like, my body kind of was gross. I just kind of felt out of it and tired. Well, then the next day I would get another symptom like my taste and smell went. Mm -hmm. The next day my ears got plugged up, but mm -hmm. my nose and my chest never did. Thank you, Jesus. I'm very thankful for that. Well, then they're not kidding. You have body aches that are super weird. Like it was my eyeballs, my eyeballs, really? It was like the back of my eyeballs hurt, hurt, hurt. Like didn't even really? want to touch them. It was so weird. And then my back and my spine was like, okay, this is great. Okay. So, so what's, what's the deal with the 10 days? Here's what I don't understand. It went from 14 days to 10 days to, well, it depends on when your symptoms start. I don't know. So what my company said was, okay, from the time you test positive, it's 10 days before you can come back to work. But you have to use up all your vacation and all your sick time. Like you're not getting paid for not being there with the COVID. What? So this is what makes no sense to me. We're paying people to not work. And then when you're working and you get the COVID, then you have to use your own personal time. That's like all your vacation days. Right. Almost all of them when you get too yeah. weeks. Yeah. Well, so I didn't take them all. So, okay. So, but you can't just go back to worry at 10 days. You'd have to have a negative test, right? Well, that's true. So like yeah. Monday, I will go get swabbed as long as it's negative, I'm good to go. But then I'll still wear a mask hmm. for a whole, probably another week, probably a whole nother week. And we just do that because that makes us feel better. But really the recommendations change all the time. This is why Americans don't trust what is being told. So I see. if things didn't change so much, I think people would be better about sticking to the rules because there's a rule. There's no freaking rule. It's like 10 days, 14 days, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. You can get it through the mask. You can't get it through the mask. Don't pick your nose. Go ahead and pick your nose. It's all good for your immune system. Jesus help us all. <laughs> Lord. So <laughs> needless to say, I slept like I was dead. Really? Like girl, I would sleep 12 hours straight, get up, shimmy to the couch and sleep for another two to three hours. What? Get oh, up, go to the potty, lay back down and start on my PhD watching Grey's Anatomy. And then I fall back. So, I mean, I was busy. I mean, don't think of it as just time off. I was really working it. I was working my PhD. I know great all this. That's great. Oh my God. And my hair is so bad. Look at all the wisdom. Can you see it? Wisdom. Yes, because it's your birthday. Is it your birthday today? It's my birthday today. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. We were talking about it yesterday and it's completely slept my mind. Happy birthday. You, thank you. You wish me New Zealand happy birthday. Yeah, but yeah. Still to me, your birthday's birth. passed. It's gone here. But like um, we used to celebrate your whole birthday month. I mean, it wasn't just yeah. a day anyway. Oh no, it's not just a day. No, no, I've been celebrating. It's all good. Yeah, so I what'd you do today? Today. <laughs> oh, I know. 
Oh my gosh. So Caleb came home. Her oldest son. To, yeah, my oldest son to pick up his new car because his dad now needs his car. So his dad bought him another car, blah, mm. blah, blah. So before he left to go back to Iowa at nine o'clock this morning, he came to the patio of Partyville <laughs> and brought me a coffee. There it I is. Can't. Let's see if I can find the picture. Cause seriously, you guys, I was like- Okay, look at your phone case. That is so a Christy phone case. Does anybody yeah, comment below? Comment below. Is this not? Oh okay. my god. And then do okay. you see what I see? Oh, how cute is he? They call him Quadzilla. Oh, he's maturing. He's growing up. Then my parents came. Oh, can anybody see that? Yep, kind of. Oh, kind there of. we okay, go. Now so we can see it. The masks, standing six feet apart because I'm afraid I'm, you know, I don't want to. Yes, I wouldn't go near you. Sorry. I know. And then this is one of the best gifts I got in the mail. Edible confetti. What? My life is complete. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I got balloons and an edible food thing. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of this cake. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, that's so cute. Who got you that? That's so cute. That's cute. My friends that I used to work with at church. Then Sophie saying happy birthday to me via the FaceTime. Mm -hmm. My daughter. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna love these. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. These are so, actually you could probably make these, which is so annoying that you know how to do everything. <gasps> Look, oh, that looks so how good. Cute that is. Can you taste it? Can you taste those right now? That's so cute. No, I can't taste anything. Well, my birthday is on Tuesday, so just ship them. I know. <laughs> so, I, so I was naughty. Don't tell anybody. I got out of yeah, the house is, to wash to wash know, my what? car. Who did? I went and washed my van. Me. I just stayed in my van with my mask on and went to the car wash because look how pretty that is. Look at all the colors. It's like hanging out with a unicorn. I was in heaven. I had to get out of here. It is like day eight. I don't know how people do this. I needed a little, a little whatever. Oh, and then I got gnome pajamas from my sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. There it for is. Remember? Remember how we're gnomes? theming in America? Gnomes. I'm still gnomes. on them. You're still on the gnomes. Still on the gnomes. So that's basically it, people. When you get the Rona, you need to get a nice blanket, pillows. The amount of medication I have, let me just show you just for fun. You know, since they told me to treat it like a cold. Okay, I so but you seem to be doing good. You seem to be looking like you feel better. Ooh, wow. That's a lot. That'd be really- Well, I'm not kidding. I was not messing around. I wasn't dying from the COVID. Sorry, not having it. Not having it. And then these are some of my birthday cards. Can you see them? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's nice. Is that fun? So fun. I got some flowers. Nice. Okay. Okay. This is my kitchen. That's a hot mess. But okay. Just so everybody knows, if you get the COVID, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. What else did I use? Oregano. Because you look good now. You look better, way better oh, than looking. I was There's no way I was putting you on camera before. <laughs> look at, this is where I was living. Can you see it? Yeah, this we is see it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I was living there, not moving. Not moving at all. Zero. Oh, sorry, it's so dark. I have all the lights off. So I can look this good right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So seriously, I was near, yeah. I mean, I was not near dead. I was fine. But just... I, the, um, the exhaustion is shocking. shocking. Okay. That's what everybody says. But my other friends yeah. all had it. And they said the big exhaustion is you can't even move. Yes. And I would say like now my ears are still plugged up. I feel a little off balance. So like a, and a little nauseous, but I was like that for the last three, four days too. So I actually had energy today. Yes, That'll because you got to get better because you're going to have to go back to work because you got to make some money since they're not paying you. Yeah. So are you taking your vacation then or are you? So I decided to do like half. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll be able to pay my bills. I just won't be able to get ahead. Right. While I've okay. gone. Got it. But what's crazy is like some people get COVID long term. So how in the heck does that work? You know what I mean? If you start to get all these other symptoms, like I have a friend now that's getting some weird lung thing from having COVID and he doesn't even have it right now. 
So oh no, I yeah, my friend in Milwaukee, she she had COVID early on, so she didn't have the Delta variant. Do you think you have the Delta variant? Yeah. I have so she, idea. but she has it. She has low long COVID too. She's gotten it like she's gotten progressively worse a couple of times. And then she, um, she's technically been brain damaged. <clears throat> and so she's at, going back to school and she can't, she can't read the words, right? Like it just, they get all mixed up or like when she talks, she, the right words she can think of, but they don't come out her mouth. Like there's some disconnect oh. that's happening. And so she's actually part of like the COVID figuring out because they don't know, they don't know the long term. Oh, that's oh. the problem because there hasn't been a long term. And so she's part of a group where they're studying her and, you know, making, because that's what it does, you know, the respiratory, the brain, the, yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. Yeah. That did happen too. The brain thing completely freaked me out. I couldn't remember my passwords. I'm trying to online bank and I'm like, what is my password? I use it all the time. Where is it? Then I called somebody who I knew was in Chicago but I forgot was in Chicago and it's like, nothing was clicking. Right. But I oh, thought that was just totally. my normal thought process. Wow. Cause I can't remember squat typically, but this was really crazy. So yeah. So I am making a recovery, feeling good about it. But yeah, for those of you that have had it and it has been wicked. Oh, I am so sorry. Cause it's a weird, it's just, you just don't know thing. how it'll affect you. Oh. So you have no idea. And so you just do the best you can and stay hydrated. That's what I did. And really don't push it. And again, as Americans, we're big on pushing it. And it's like, no, no, this isn't something you push. Right. You take that's it easy and get better. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, but I am. All right, well, that's cool. Thanks for sharing that with us today. That's so great. Why don't you guys like post questions? What are your questions that you would have about, um, you know, COVID for Christy uh, or any you know, anything like that, I think would be helpful. This is our new show, the Tara Christie show. We post uh, every once in a while. We're actually thinking about moving it towards a subscription on the YouTube channel. So if you want to keep seeing us, you might want to do that. Um, and it'll just be for our special members to get the special talks with us. But anyway, thanks for joining us today and make sure you subscribe below and join us every week. We're a family of six that have moved to New Zealand. And sometimes I connect with my friend, Christy, uh, over uh, what it's like, differences between the US and New Zealand. So have a great week. Bye guys.